One of the major problems in uh, Puppy Linux, I think, uh, from a user point of view, is that uh, although um, a Puppy Package Manager uh, is uh, has a uh, uh, large number of uh, applications and files uh, that you can download, uh, I think the uh, there are limitation on. Uh, for example, it it doesn't have a, a very latest. Uh, of files or um, may not have all the uh, browsers, uh, uh, ver various browsers, for example, that you may, which you may have a preference to. So there are some limitations on the Puppy Package Manager, in my opinion. There are other ways of getting the uh, applications, and those uh, uh, are uh, very important in that you may be able to get the uh, application that you want through uh, other means. So yesterday I uh, made a YouTube video on uh, how to uh, use uh, app image file. Uh, for example, uh, you can go to a uh, Krita website. The Krita is uh, one of the graphic uh, uh, applications and you can download app image and uh, don't uh, for me if I click on this that doesn't work it goes to all, uh, all download versions and go down to Linux 64 bit app image and you go ahead and click there and then it downloads the uh, a file uh, so this is the second file uh, let's say we'll go to the uh, download So uh, this is the one that's being downloaded. I had uh, downloaded one earlier. So let's go ahead and uh, make this less confusing. So this is the one I just downloaded, uh, Krita. So uh, we can go ahead and take a look at this uh, file. So we can go in the terminal in the downloads uh, a folder and uh, take a look at the so it doesn't have an executable uh, switch so you need to uh, get this uh, app image app image file a uh, executable uh, switch so the command for that is c uh, chmod plus x and uh, the name of the file is creator so go ahead and tab and then now it's uh it's changed the color in rocks and it is uh executable so now simply you can go ahead and change the uh to the executable command on terminal just by clicking on this and then it starts the uh create a, uh from the site uh web uh, uh, uh site so it's 5.1 so it's very very recent one it takes a while uh since i have a fairly slow computer here it hasn't completed the uh launch of the application so you get a feeling that this is a uh, fairly large and comprehensive uh, uh so app image has all the dependency within it and it's supposed to work also in uh, other uh, operating uh, uh, Linux uh, system like Ubuntu and so on. So here's the program itself so we know that uh, it launches properly. So you can, uh, uh, you can go ahead and uh, make it a very uh, you can uh, shorten the uh, a name so you can, for example, just uh, go ahead and rename it, uh, and then just you just click on it, and it'll launch. Hopefully, it'll be uh, launch a little faster than uh, before, but uh, we'll see. So now I, I want to tell you about a uh, another good uh, source for puppy puppy uh, uh, application, and this has to do with a. Uh, a puppy uh puppy uh forum you can uh, find uh, there is a uh, uh user mike walsh uh, who has done a great fa favor to uh, uh puppy users and he uh, gathered uh 
uh, many uh, applications that should run in a uh, in a puppy Linux, and uh, uh, he has it divided into uh, puppy stuff and puppy more puppy stuff and more. And I I believe that these are much older uh, uh, applications and more recent uh, applications you can find here. So we can go ahead and uh, just uh, click on it. Uh, I should have just uh, mentioned uh, exactly where uh, he he uh, is very active, and so y what you want to do is just look for his uh, logo. Uh, but the uh, one uh, a thread that uh, uh, that uh, I'm showing here is uh, under uh, board index, yeah, advanced topics, additional uh, software, pets and stuff, browsers and internet. And then uh, he has his uh, signature here and right above it. You can uh, go ahead and uh, click. So he has, uh, seems like um, at least hundreds and perhaps thousands of applications that's mainly in what's called a portable uh, format. Portable means that it has all the dependencies. And uh, I think that it also has configuration files within a uh, this portable uh, application so for example we can take a look at the Krita again and uh, let's see here's the Krita and he has a 64 bit uh, uh, and you can we can go ahead and uh, click and then download standard download so we'll just uh, see how his uh, portable uh, uh, application works in Puppy Linux. Let me just go back. Uh, I think that uh, within the site, I think the uh, one uh, folder that I find very useful is under Browsers. He has, uh, for example, a various number of uh, browsers, and some of them are even 32-bit. Uh, so here, for example, Pale Moon, 32-bit. So you can certainly download some of these uh, uh, portable 32-bit uh, web browsers uh, in this fashion. So I think that we'll go back to the uh, we'll go back to the download folder and uh, take a look at the uh, portable uh, creator here. So what we can do, we can extract it by just uh, left click and then we'll just extract it. So when you extract it, what you're going to end up is a Creator Portable 64. In this case, because this is a, is a Fossa Pub 64, 64 bit machine. So within it, you can uh, see several uh, uh, files. Uh, Normally, uh, if you have an app image file or portable image uh, portable files, you may not get a menu. You may not show up on a menu, so it doesn't really show up uh, on the menu. But uh, my, uh, Mike uh, has added in some of the portables ability to add a, uh, a with to the menu or the remove. But if you do that, it'll stop. Uh, screen uh, uh, recording in my case, so I won't do that. So uh, one of the things that you can do is if you want to be able to uh, start either by menu or if you prefer a desktop, for example, you can dra drag the launch uh, out here and then right click on the and then edit item. You can uh, edit to rather than launch. You can say create create a and then you can also uh, get a, a keyboard shortcut uh, so of your preference so we'll go ahead and say uh, we'll just say just for uh, in, uh, for uh, ex for demonstrations we'll say control uh, J okay and then okay so here's uh, name has changed and let me go ahead and just click on control J and then uh, it'll, it'll launch the program. So that's, uh, 
and some of them you may not have the you may not have the proper icon in this case it does but if it doesn't what you can do is go ahead and uh, go into file create and set icon file create and set icon and then drop the uh, icon that's in a separate file sometimes like this and it'll it'll show up uh, but it this uh, also already had to create a, a, a proper icon. So normally you don't want to run the uh, uh, application, uh, portable application from download uh, folder. So generally what I prefer to do is uh, go to uh, uh, OPT uh, folder. And, uh, and then in this case what I will do uh, is I prefer uh, to do is just take the whole portable uh, creator and then just move it uh, here. So you can see that I'm already running a Vivaldi at uh, my browser of choice uh, in a portable format also. So, um, so in here, uh, this is the this is the uh, path to the uh, uh, creator. So what well, what you should do is go ahead and uh, make a copy and then uh, we'll go ahead and uh, make a, a slight change in a in a default application so for example default uh, application we want to go to all and then under M image uh, editor for example we want to uh, use a creator then what you want to do is just go ahead and uh, in the uh, full path of the creator and then last launch last command is launch so that's how and then uh, so if uh, another uh, program wants to use the image added uh, default image editor it will use the creator portable and uh, you can see that uh, uh, web browser uh, i have it similarly i have opt vivaldi uh, portable and uh, launch uh, with a um, uh, Vivaldi, uh, it's not just a launch, it's a underline and then an L uh, which launches the program. So I think that if you uh, look uh, on the on the uh, site Mike uh, Walsh's uh, site, uh, he ha actually has a lot of stuff. So a lot of uh, major applications uh, that are that uh, works very well in app uh, in uh, Puppy Linux, whether you have a 32-bit or 64-bit. Uh, so um, you should look here for for programs if you don't find it in a, a Puppy. Uh, package manager. I there are uh, several other ways of uh, uh, installing uh, application uh, that I haven't, uh, I failed to mention so far. My uh, quick pet uh, application generally uh, present in more modern uh, uh, dist uh, the uh, pet uh, puppy Linux distros and uh, for example here's a fuss a pup uh, quick pet uh, first thing you should do is uh, do a quick update and then followed by a uh, cat the whatever you may want uh, there's uh, several very uh, uh, interesting applications here browsers for example and uh, office suites uh, libre office uh, the uh, the LibreOffice here uh, in this particular uh, Fossa Pup uh, uh, here is an uh, uh, older uh, version and then it's also a, uh, a, a Great Britain uh, version rather than US so uh, and then uh, if you have uh, driver issues you may want to uh, uh, take a look at here so that's one uh, other way and also uh, to look at the uh, uh, Puppy Linux uh, index uh, the 
uh, on uh, distro biblio uh, puppy linux i guess uh, distro dot eb ebi blio dot org uh, puppy linux is hard to read i'm sure uh, and then uh, you can uh, look at the pet uh, pet or uh, sfs uh, files and for example we can look at the uh, fossa pup here uh, pet uh, files are very easy to use all you have to do is just download and click on the pet and it'll install the program and after installation you can uh, delete the pet uh, file sfs uh, a file after you download it you can generally click on it and then it will uh, give you a, a prompt of uh, ins uh, how to install and one of the things that you want uh, you may want to keep in mind is SFS file after it loads uh, that generally you don't want to move the uh, file again because it may uh, not load uh, next time so but uh, PET and SFS uh, files are very uh, uh, important uh, in uh, installing some uh, applications in uh, uh, Puppy Linux. And I think uh, that should, uh, uh, w and then of course, uh, uh, if you still uh, want to uh, uh, like to know how to uh, install further programs, uh, that you can ask, uh, always ask on the Puppy Linux forum. And I think that they should do it for today. Thank you.